Hey, howdy y'all. This is Frightman, and this is the seven foot animated, officially licensed from Universal Studios, seven foot tall Frankenstein prop from the Home Depot 2024 Halloween season. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to put them together. If you'd like to see a demo and a fair and honest review, I have a video for that. If you would like to learn how to put them back in the box, I have a video for that. But for now, let's get this big guy assembled. So we're going to be starting off with this base. This base is very heavy. The poles are pretty heavy. The base has a angle here. As you can see, there's this angle bracket here. So towards the back of that angle is going to be the left foot and towards the front is going to be the right foot. So we're looking away. This is the right. This is the left. With that in place, we're going to go ahead and slide down these leg poles here and they're just gonna snap right here down into our base. And once that is done, we have these humongous boots to slide down over these two poles. These boots are hard plastic and they are huge. These are the largest pieces of footwear I have ever had on any of my props and I love it. So we got those slid down and they just kinda lock into place there's a little metal pin that's sticking up here on the base and they just slide down onto that and it just keeps them from shifting from left to right so now we're going to give this guy a little bit of height and we're going to do that by adding poles onto these two poles so over here on my right i have the e pole on my left i have the d pole it is important that you put the right pole on the right side because the uh, clips here are faced different ways on these poles. So we're gonna go ahead and stick the E, I believe it was. Yes, the E is on the right, and we're going to put the D on the left. And now that we have this done, we are ready to slide this foam down over these poles. This foam is gonna slide right down onto these poles, and that's just gonna fill out the little leg. So when we get the costuming piece on here, uh, he's going to have a little bit of meat on his bones and not just look like a couple poles. So one thing that I am really already liking about this is um, it's pretty simple. For a prop that's this size, um, there's not a lot of parts and it's going to go together pretty well. So our next step is going to be sliding these pants down over these legs. There is a tag on the back of the pants. It is important to know that there is a front to the pants and the back of the pants. That's because the front of the pants has a little bit of embellishment here uh, just to give them that Frankenstein look. So we're going to go ahead and slide these right down over these leg poles. Very nice and easily done. And like I said, this is, uh, this is going together very, very easily. I'm pretty excited about that. It's always nice to have uh, a prop that goes together very well without a lot of complexity built into it. So yeah, very nice and very easy. Now we're ready to go ahead and put in our um, waist here that's going to be holding these two poles together. So this is gonna be our waist and our waist is going to snap right on to the top of these leg poles. Um, you can't go wrong, it only goes on one way based off of the clips here so you won't get confused about that. And boy, that just went on really easy and this one Yep, that went on really easy too. So this guy, uh, so far, I'm really happy with the way that he's made. Uh, it's going together very nicely and very easy, which I do appreciate. So now we're ready to go ahead and slide this waist piece onto, or the waist ring, onto the waist section here. There are two holes that are located right here on the top of this waist piece. And one of them is larger than the other. So if you were to try to put this on backwards, it's not going to work. So that's very good that you cannot get confused. There is only one direction that this goes in. So if it doesn't go down well for you, like it did for me originally, you have it backwards and you just need to fix that. So there is also a clip that goes into a hole on this pole. So once you do drop this down into these two holes, you wanna take the clip, which I have removed, and you want to put that back on here onto the hole that is on this pole 
and that's just going to secure our um, our waist ring so it can't come off so that's all that we're trying to do with that piece so we're ready to take these pants and go ahead and pull them up over this ring and as they as i do this i'm realizing <laughs> this guy is going to be much larger and much taller than um i realized that he was so i am like five foot seven and his uh waist here is pretty much coming up to almost to my chest so <laughs> this guy is tall now that we have that done um, I'm going to go ahead and bend over here and fix these pants legs down onto the boots. Uh, I don't see any kind of Velcro or anything for that. So it looks like you're just going to take the pants legs and just kind of bring them down over the boots. I'll give you a, a shot of that when we're done. But our next step is going to be going ahead and putting that control box here. It's just going to snap here onto this pole right here. So this is our control box. It's pretty hefty. We're gonna go ahead and snap that right here into this center pole. Now this control box has a few different options. It has a sensor mode, it has a light only mode, it has a step mode, and then of course it has an off. There is also a volume control here on the back for Frankie. So I went and got myself a step ladder because <laughs> the more we add to this guy, the more I realize just how tall he really is. So our next step is gonna be adding on his shoulders. So this is our shoulder piece. And what I wanna point out here is a couple things. First of all, on the back, there is a wire that's going to come down. This is longer. There is a similar wire here in the front. This one is shorter and it is um, not as wide. So the smaller one's gonna go to the front. This larger one is gonna go to the back. The other thing I wanna point out for you is there's two wing nuts here on the shoulders. And there's holes that we're about to drop this guy down into uh, these two poles. So we're gonna go ahead and take these wing nuts off of these two poles before we drop this down onto his shoulder plate. So let's go ahead and do that. Remember, our larger piece is going to go towards the back. So we're going to go ahead and take these and just drop this right into these two holes that are here on the shoulder piece. Hopefully, I can get that without getting on this step ladder. Let's see here. I can do it. So now that we have that in place, we're gonna go ahead and take these two wing nuts that we just took off of this shoulder plate and go ahead and screw these back onto the screw that is now coming uh, through this bar here. So we're gonna do that, get these nice and tightened up, and we should be good to go with this shoulder. Now, I see another wing nut up here where the head's gonna drop, which is kind of interesting because uh, last year there were some similar props to this one. And when you put the head on, you actually had to have a screwdriver, which I uh, have grabbed out of my garage to go ahead and tighten up that head. But it looks like this year they have decided to use the wing nut assembly instead of having to get people to get a screwdriver, um, which is certainly more convenient to get to. And not everybody has a Phillips head screwdriver, so that's a good thing. Um, so uh, the next step is actually dropping that head onto a pole that is sticking up right here through this shoulder plate. And again, there is this wing nut here. So let's go ahead and get that head in place. So I'm feeling kind of tall on my step stool now. So this is his head and uh, it's a big head. <laughs> if you can compare this to mine, you can see, uh, I think his head is probably bigger than mine is. Coming out the bottom of the head, there's a couple things going on here. There's some wires, and then there is this pole. Now, again, there is a pole here up in the shoulders. This is going to drop down into this. Before you do that, again, there is a wing nut back here, so I'm gonna loosen that wing nut just a little bit before we drop this head on. Um, there are multiple places where it calls out that you need to make sure that this head is completely secure and seat it before you tighten up this wing nut. So um, the fact that they call that out a couple times, I think it's important for a couple reasons. But I think the main reason 
is uh, to keep his head from falling off. <laughs> so we're going to head and get that all nice and tightened up. And I'll just do a little bit of lifting on his head here. And so it doesn't move. So I know that I've got him pretty darn secure here. Man, he is good looking. Okay, let's move on. So while we have this guy mostly naked, let's go ahead and hook up this wire for the head. So the wire is secured going up the side of the control box here. There's also a wire that's hanging down here. This one is red and black. This is going to be for his sensor. This is not the one for the head. The one for the head actually has a red, green, white wire coming off of it. And we're just gonna go ahead and snap that right here into this one coming off of the control box. So that's uh, locked into place. When you do take these apart, there is a little piece of plastic that you do have to push down to take this apart before you pull that apart. If you do not do that, then it's not gonna come off easily and you're probably going to destroy your prop. So just a, a pro tip, when you take this thing apart, Anytime you're using these clips, make sure that you're pushing down on that little locking mechanism before you take it apart. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and give this guy some clothes. Um, this uh, top does Velcro in the back and it completely comes open so that it's very easy just to put over him like this. There is a sensor here in the center. So on the inside of the clothing, there is also a wire that is coming out of that sensor that's gonna be attaching here to the control box wire. But first, let's go ahead and take this shirt and stick this around Frankie here. And then once we get that up, we're gonna go ahead and go on the back and start to put some of this Velcro together. So let's do that. I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way down Frankenstein's back and put all that Velcro piece together. Oh, he's looking good. So, switching around here to the back, we'll put all of these nice pieces of Velcro together, and then we're gonna go ahead and come over to the front, and we are going to put that sensor wire together as well. Okay, so that sensor wire is basically going to go together just like we did for the head wire. So we have the sensor wire coming here from the front of the clothing, we have the sensor wire coming from the control box and we're just going to simply go ahead and put these two guys together like so. We'll finish kind of cleaning him up a little bit here and fixing up his clothing and I think all that's probably left is we just need to give this guy some arms. Now one thing that I really do wish that they would have done, I wish they would have put some Velcro here on the front just to kind of uh, allow you to let's see make sure before I say that no it would have been nice if they had to put a little bit of velcro in the front just to kind of hold this piece down um, easily fixed but that would have just been a nice touch to kind of hold the collar down a little better so let's go ahead and remove this tag for where the sensor is um, I wish they wouldn't do this as well I'm not a fan of that but hey we're done let's get some arms on this guy and get him cleaned up so we're ready to go ahead and slide these arms into the costume. So um, I, don't, I don't see labels on the arms themselves. They look identical, uh, and this is a redo. In other words, I tried to put this arm onto the uh, left side of Frankie here, and it didn't go. So there is a right arm and a left arm, although it's not identified in the instructions on mine but there's a slight difference. They look like they're very, very much the same, and they are very much the same, but there is one slight difference that seems to make a difference as to whether it's going to be the right arm or the left arm. So we have that right arm on. Let's go ahead and do the same over here for this left arm. So slide that up. It's a little challenging getting this on on the part that you didn't see, and um, that's because I had it on backwards. So if you're trying to get these hooks into your shoulders and you're having some difficulties, chances are, like me, you're trying to put the wrong arm in the wrong uh, shoulder piece. And maybe yours will be marked. I don't really know if the uh, instructions called that out or not as to whether there was a left or a right, but mine is not marked. So whether it called that out or not, it really wouldn't make a difference. So uh, the only thing that's left now is to go ahead and put his hands on 
And um, let's see, so the hands, we have a Q and a P. So there's definitely a difference because of the thumbs. So that's pretty easy to figure out. So I think that we can pretty solidly say that this is going to be his left hand because of the positioning of that thumb. There is Velcro here in the sleeve and there is Velcro on the hand itself so that the costuming can go ahead and Velcro right on to that hand. We'll do the same thing over with this right hand. And um, believe it or not, we're actually done except for one thing that I did not do, which I have not plugged in, uh, the power to his control box. Generally, I like to do that before I finish the prop up, but because the back of this is so easy to get to, it's um, not a big deal. Because remember the back of this shirt, it's all Velcro. So uh, it's very easy to get to this control box. So yeah, we have that power back in the control box and uh, we're done. This is Frankie. Uh, he's looking really, really good. And uh, so I'm gonna tell you, this was very easy to put together. I would definitely consider him to be a beginner's prop, which is pretty amazing at the size of him. If this assembly video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, stay spooky, my friends. <laughs> Bye.